happy Monday, everyone, and I uh, hope you guys have a happy holiday. Uh, there's no uh, episodes uh, this week besides Scandal Thursday. I decided to take a, a you know the holidays off and just uh, you know do personal things with the family. Uh, went on a little bit of vacation, but uh, now I'm back. I'm gonna talk about some issues. I know a lot of you guys have been spending a lot of money during the holidays, and uh, <laughs> uh, it was my wish that you know people save some money. Hopefully, uh, you know people did save some money uh, because I feel like uh, things are gonna get a little bit rough. Now I realize uh, there were some people who are kind of upset about uh, certain comments in uh, Gunpla related content. Uh, I'm not too concerned about it. You know, I thought about these things. And uh, th this is something that I kind of work on in the last two years uh, about, uh, you know, uh, this whole uh, spiritual growth situation. So today I want to talk about the law of projection. Uh, basically, uh, you know, the law of projection is like this spiritual concept that uh, everything... Uh, you know, the world is like a mirror uh, that, uh, you know, that projects our own uh, issues back to us, you know. Uh, for example, you know, our selfishness and uh, stuff like that. Uh, we project our issues, good or bad, onto other people, assuming, you know, they're having the same issue as us. But really, like, uh, they're just uh, like a mirror that's reflecting our issues back at us. You know, a lot of people have insecurities. Uh, they read comments and they see other people's content, people's video. Uh, they get very jealous of that thing. Uh, it's because, uh, you know, not because the people who are creating the content is uh, doing anything like, you know, purposely causing the issue. Uh, it is we who see our issues in other people's content that's causing us to become, you know, hostile or upset. Uh, for example, you know, a, a lot of people project their insecurities uh, and they see it in other people. And when you're seeing that issue, uh, basically you're feeling upset about it, you know, like overspending and, uh, you know, like all these other things that we're doing. Uh, uh, not being very careful about doing, and we see in other people just all, you know, that way it enables us. Oh yeah, that all these people are overspending. I think it's fine for us to do it. For example, you know, uh, <laughs> there are husbands, you know, who's always being accused of infidelity, and the wife is like, you know, uh, accusing the husband of inf in infidelity. Uh, basically, she's just projecting her own lack of faith in the relationship. Uh, that's actually 100% true. You know, a lot of people are just projecting a lot of these issues onto other people. Uh, not knowing that themselves are uh, dealing with this issue. Basically, these people are there for you to, uh, you know, realize that you have problems that you need to work on. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people do not understand this concept of projection. So, you know, it just makes things a little bit more complicated. Uh, there is an expression, a pot calling the kettle black, describing the law of projection very well. Either see itself as black instead of each, uh, instead of each see how black the other person is. Uh, maybe I'm not doing like a very, very good way of uh, uh, discussing this, but I guess I'll uh, put in the uh, video uh, done by someone who is a lot better at explaining this whole situation, uh, Hans Wilhelm. And, uh, you know, hopefully that will help you guys understand some of these issues and, uh, you know, help you guys grow spiritually uh, going forward. So anyway. Uh, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys, uh, you know, find some help in some of my contents. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.